guys, it's Naveda. Welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to film this video for so long. I have just been putting it off because I was kind of like embarrassed or more, not embarrassed, but like shy about the topic. Some of you may not know the advice that I'm going to give and it might actually be like life changing for you because it was life changing for me. And I really want to... I don't know, introduce people to the things I know and the things that have helped me a lot and made such a big difference in my life. And it's so weird to say life, but like anything related to your armpits is pretty much like an everyday type of thing that you deal with. But essentially the video is gonna be about what I use, how I use it, and what's just made the biggest difference for me all around armpit wise. So odor, skin lightening, comfort, day-to-day -day type of things. I do want to say that this video is sponsored by Zion Health. Before that makes you think anything different about this video, just so you know, I reached out to them. It's not like they reached out to me and were like, hey, we'll sponsor a video if you show our products. I actually like their products so much that I reached out and I was like, hey, I want to make a focused video. Will you guys sponsor it? So I'm very lucky that they said yes. Their deodorants are called Zion Health and they come in so many different scents. You can go to adamaminerals.com and then obviously I have a discount code for you guys which is smell good. Everything will be in the description box below if you want to check that out. So first things first, deodorant. It makes such a huge difference and it's one of those things that everybody uses. I started looking for an aluminum free deodorant almost four years ago. Definitely three years ago is when I made the switch. And I want to say that I tried, if not all of the options out there, most of the aluminum free deodorant options. Hands down, I found my favorite one, which is Zion Health. The reason why I wanted to switch from aluminum deodorants is because for a bunch of reasons, one of them being we found out how bad it is for your body, but number two being that as a brown skinned girl, it's very easy for my skin to get that gray pigmentation and just get discolored and I felt that aluminum deodorants were doing that so easily. Another thing was I feel like the deodorants I was using weren't really controlling odor that well unless they were those like really strong clinical strength antiperspirant type of things and I am so against antiperspirants. They're just not good for your body. There is no reason to stop your body from sweating, period. The only purpose should be to control any type of odor. So three years ago about is when I first made the decision to switch and naturally I just went online to find what everyone was talking about, what's the best options, and the first thing that came up was Tom's and I hated it. The texture was too wet and slimy for me. Like no matter how long you let it dry, it would not dry. It stuck to every piece of clothing I wore. It did not help with odor at all. I think those were the two main things. It doesn't help with odor, so what's the point of having it as a deodorant? And then I just felt really gross wearing it. Then I went on to Amazon and found something called Primal Pit which came in this little container and like a little scoop and it was solid like solidified coconut oil texture and like grainy and you would scoop that out and apply it onto your armpits. I used that for over five to six months because I read so many people saying you have to give it a chance to like work and your body has to adapt and this and that so I really gave it a try but at the end of the day, it did not help with odor at all. It definitely discolored my skin to this weird gray purple kind of thing and that obviously was not pleasant. I didn't want that. Sephora had La Vanilla, so I tried that and that was just an all around fail. Especially for being at that price point, it was just, it didn't work at all. The people that reviewed it and said that it works amazing even on gym days, like I just, I don't understand and I don't believe it. And then finally, I found out about Native, which I still have my Native. This is like the fifth one that I've used because I used it for several months, over a year I think. I got it and essentially fell in love with Native. I love the texture of it, it like goes off solid, it stays solid, it did not cause any discoloration and it worked with containing body odor. It definitely did. But I ended up having two cons with Native, which at the time didn't bother me enough to ever want to switch my deodorant, which is why I kept buying it. But the two cons that I had was number one, the price point, because it's like 12 or $13 for one deodorant. And then number two was that the smell, like the scents they have are amazing, but the scent would sour by the end of the day. And that's the best way that I can describe it is that it would sour. It's not like 
body odor came out or maybe it's like mixed with body odor but it would be the scent that you applied just like a really bad version of it again it wasn't like a huge downer for me in the sense that that and the price did not stop me from buying native and i was gonna keep buying it until i came across zion health zion health oh my gosh i saw that it said aluminum free and like big words and i was like you know what let me try it again the review said to let your body adapt to it and i'm so glad i did because life changer i am telling you this is pretty much a hundred percent for me like it works a hundred percent and i can't find any flaws with it when i say you have to let your body adapt i mean it because the two things i did see with this initially was that I sweat more initially, and I knew that was because of the deodorant because I was switching into something different. You have to let your body do its thing when you're adapting. And then number two is like, I thought it left a lot of residue, but I actually reached out to Zion Health and I was like, hey, I don't know why it's doing this. And they were very honest and they were like, I think you're applying too much. And that's truly what it was. So at this point, I literally just use like one swipe or more often I like pat it in. And that is more than enough for this product to work for me. It does not sour, not even the slightest bit. What you put on in the morning is the same smell that you're gonna have at the end of the day. Regardless of whether it's a gym day for me or an active day at the hospital, whatever it is, it either fades away while still containing the body odor so I don't smell anything, or it smells the same way it did when I put it on. It does go on solid and I really like that. And because I use so little, it lasts me a very long time as opposed to native, which I actually had to reapply several times a day. I know I'm promoting it so much, but I cannot tell you how much I want you guys to try something like this, especially if you want to make that change from aluminum to aluminum free. I know how much it sucks to want to make that change and then have it just not work for you. And then it's kind of just like, what's the point? Or, and you'll end up going back to like an aluminum deodorant. Obviously my plug here is that I have a coupon code for you guys if you wanna to go to adamaminerals.com. My code is smell good and you can use that for a discount. So I guess my biggest advice, if you are gonna make the decision to switch over and you do try one of these, Keep in mind that your body is going to be a little bit different. You might sweat more, but if you can stick it out for like two to three weeks, it will be a huge difference. Biggest, most important thing I started doing in stopping aluminum deodorant is starting to use lemon. Literally, I just cut up lemons into wedges and apply them onto my armpits. I know that some of you may think that's weird at first. Some of you may already use it. Some of you may have heard about it, but for those of you who think that it's weird, just hear me out. It is so simple. It is so cheap. It is definitely worth trying at least. I just kind of want to very briefly bring up the science behind it, which is essentially that like everyone sweats and you sweat everywhere. Like you sweat from your arms, you sweat from your back and sweat is nothing but water and salt and water and salt should not smell, right? So the only reason that you have body odor from sweating from your armpits or anything like that is because the glands in your armpits kind of when they release salt and water, which is sweat, they also release like protein essentially and the bacteria on your skin eat that protein and that's kind of how you're getting that foul odor. So what is lemon other than a natural antiseptic? All it's doing is making that part of your body, that skin inhabitable for those bacteria and thus no smell. I have actually converted a good amount of people, including my dad, like a man, into using lemon because even if you like are wary about the idea at first, it's so easy to one day just be like, okay, let me try this and that's all you need to be so surprised at how well it works. So how I use it is essentially I actually just cut up a lemon into wedges, shower as normal, and then after you get out of the shower, all you do is you take the lemon and you just like actually rub it onto the armpit. And like little pieces of pulp that come off, that's fine, just let it dry first and then you can wipe it off with a towel or something. Or if you don't want that and that's a nuisance to you, you can literally squeeze the lemon onto your fingers and like rub it into your armpits. If you do that once, you're pretty much set for the day, probably even two days, sometimes even three days, 
before the next time you would need to apply that lemon. It's just so easy, I want you guys to try it out. But obviously keep in mind, it can burn your skin. When I first started doing it, I was like, this is amazing, let's go. And I did it every single day. And next thing you know, I had, look, I could just wipe the pulp off. Next thing you know, I literally had like first degree burns on my underarms and it was so painful. So don't do it every day, don't be like me. The second thing, which is kind of common sense, is don't use it on just shaved skin. That's gonna hurt. One of the kind of cool concurrent benefits of using lemon is that it does somehow, I don't know the science behind this part, but it does help to lighten your skin. Somehow it has like a bleaching effect and I mean, it's made a world of a difference to my underarms, but just like from when I used to shave and use aluminum deodorants, all that gray casting is gone. And so that's just like a byproduct of using the lemon. But again, don't overdo it. Every two to three days is more than enough. So getting into this topic of like skin lightening, another thing I wanna talk about when it comes to your armpits is shaving. I do not shave anymore and I haven't for the past about six years. That's definitely a huge part as to why my armpits don't have that gray hue anymore. Shaving, like when you're cutting the hair off at the level of the skin, that's causing that weird five o'clock shadow. Some people it's worse than others. Some people don't care. Some people care. I cared a lot about it and I wanted to try to get rid of it. When I stopped shaving, the first thing I wanted to do was what's the best way to pull the hair out at the root. So I started getting my armpits waxed, but the problem with waxing is number one, it's very inconvenient to go somewhere and get it done every time that you actually need it done. And number two was that it was so expensive. So what I actually ended up getting and have been using for the past six years is an epilator. I first found out what an epilator was from my roommate and I actually got it as a birthday gift and I have used it on my armpits since then and I will continue to and I just think it's so easy and fast and effective. So an epilator is basically a bunch of tweezers in this like electric powered rotating machine. It's doing the same thing that one single tweezer does which is pull out the hair at its root but it's just a lot at the same time and you just run it over your skin and it pulls out the hair at the root. That has made a huge difference as far as skin lightening because I don't shave anymore and I just let the hair grow out every single time. The pulling it out is so fast with this because I literally just plug it in and I just go over the area a few times and that's it, it's done. I usually do this when I'm like heading out the door. So for me, it's just really convenient to use. The biggest con about this is that it does hurt. When I first tried it, I was like, hell no, this is really painful. But then, I mean, I love that my hair just didn't grow back and it was so easy to use. So I was like, let me try it again. And eventually I just got used to the pain. I guess I would say if you have like very low pain tolerance, this might not be something for you. But if you think you can get used to it, 100% recommend this. Mine is called Braun Silk Epple 5. I think it was like 60 or $70 at the time, which honestly, I've been using it for six years now. So it's definitely worth the money. And then I guess last but not least, I just have some extra tips. Don't use too much deodorant. I feel like everyone's first instinct is to just slather it on. And I don't think that's the best use of deodorant, especially for this one. All I had to do was use less for it to work even more amazing than it originally had. So for most deodorants, I would honestly just say, especially for this one, all you need is like one swipe in like the areas that you need. Or what I've been doing with this actually is just patting it onto my skin and that's been more than enough for it to last all day. The second tip I have, just a very general tip, is give yourself enough time to let your deodorant dry. So don't just throw on deodorant and throw on your clothes and be out the door. I will put on the deodorant and then do my makeup do my hair and that's usually enough time for the deodorant to really just work on the skin it's supposed to and then I'll change into the clothes that I'm wearing out. You kind of really don't run that risk of staining your clothes when your deodorant is dry on your skin and it just works more efficiently. And then the last tip that everyone knows and it's just kind of annoying is eat healthy and drink water. It really does make a difference. Eating healthier, more like whole foods and drinking lots of water does help your body and you will notice significant changes in 
your, the way your body smells. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. These are my tips and tricks and the product that I love and 100% stand by. Definitely try out the lemon trick and let me know in the comments down below if it was like miraculous for you the way it was for me. I really hope that it is. Go check out Zion Health deodorants. Um, the link will be in the description box below and use the coupon code SMELLGOOD. It is by far right now the best aluminum free deodorant I think that there is. Everything that I talked about will be linked in the description box below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.